is health and how your feeds um, are actually a major governor of the uh, how healthy you actually are, both from when you're young all the way through to when you are not so young. And uh, so uh, one of the things that we mentioned that we would talk about is how to pick your shoes. And the first thing you don't want to pick your shoes uh, uh, regarding is by just name brand for name brand only. Uh, you want to come into a foot solution store, you want to get some good advice, and I also want to make this very clear uh, uh, for those, uh, 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 for our listeners, um, is that a podiatrist can diagnose, however, if a, a podiatrist does not diagnose, uh, can recommend is the right, what's the proper word? Evaluate. Evaluate. Mm -hmm. uh, evaluate and recommend. So um, that was my word, and I apologize, so we do uh, retract, uh, retract that, but definitely uh, you want to come into Foot Solutions to uh, work with, uh, with Art, who has 40 years of experience in uh, the shoe industry and 10 years of experience as a podiatrist so that he can uh, uh, evaluate and recommend a, a good option for you. Um, and so there's really two parts to the equation. Um, one is having the, the um, evaluation done so that you know what kind of an orthotic you need. And then the other one is what uh, type of support goes around the orthotic and, w and the shoe that you choose. And so um, uh, Art, how would you uh, recommend or what when, when somebody has been recommended a shoe you put the two interacting together and they're not working so well together what do you, what do you recommend in that particular situation well we've already gone through the foot and gait analysis okay if there's something not working correctly enough there's there's um, corrections that we can make to custom orthotics and actually make to over-the-counter orthotics that will help okay the shoe itself is like the house that holds the orthotic so the two of them have to work together um, so we want a good quality on both of them, okay. both the shoe and the insert. Okay. Kind of like what, uh, riding a bike double. Uh -huh. If one doesn't pedal, the bike isn't going to work as well. Right. Absolutely. It's much fun. You're carrying the weight of the other one. Okay. Um, something else I wanted to point out is that you can uh, choose the material of the shoe uh, where. It's kind of like uh, some balls are more bouncy than other balls are. Mm -hmm. So when you put the two types of material inside of those shoes, um, you can actually help stabilize. Uh, the, the shoe can help stabilize because the, the, the part uh, that tends that to uh, um, that tends to get pushed one way or the other can actually be pushed back. So the the forces that where your if your uh, foot is trying to push outward and there's less give on the one side of the shoe. Uh, not because there's it, it, it's just a less bouncy ball than the other side. Okay. So you can actually help stabilize your, your the shoes can actually be selected to interact well with the orthotic so that your whole foot becomes more stable. Yes, yeah, so a lot of times most of your orthotics, would, if they're any good grade at all, are firm. Okay, uh -huh. and some people think they're too hard, but that's the shoe you put in. The shoe is the one that should be doing the shock absorbing. Sure. The orthotic is the, his buddy that should be doing the mechanical straightening and everything. You have to be, it's in some cases rigid or flexibly rigid. Okay, it's the shoe that gives you the, the, the absorption. Absolutely. Especially in athletic shoes. So. And there's actually demonstrations they can do where it shows how much uh, it actually absorbs. So when you are uh, running and you have, you know, with me, I have uh, you know about 175 to 180 pounds coming down, uh, you know, of pressure on my feet on a regular basis. That you, the more absorption you can get. Um, and speaking of absorption, we talked about different types of materials. Most people think that soft equals better absorption. But that's not necessarily the case. Is that correct? Correct, especially because it's too soft, and then the the orthotic sitting on top of it is falling in there. It's manu maneuvering on there, so it takes away what the orthotic can do. So the two of them have to be tuned together. That's where we take your body weight and what you're doing, mm -hmm. and the terrain you're on, kind of put them all together. And then, okay, now we put them all together. Now you go out and perform on them, and then if we need to, we can adjust. Absolutely, you can adjust from there. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you ever want to get in a second opinion, get a second opinion, uh, talk to your chiropractor. Uh, they will be the first to tell you um, that it's. Uh, they they may not use this exact analogy, but I'm going to share this uh, in talking with chiropractors. 
there's nothing more frustrating uh, when we're young, for example, if we build a house of Lincoln Logs or blocks or build a sandcastle on the beach and the, the mean kid around the corner or the older brother just comes by and kicks, the, kicks it down. Um, and you just feel that feeling of frustration. A uh, chiropractor feels that same feeling when they get your back completely in order, get everything the way it should be, um, and then you go into uh, either no or the wrong orthotics, they either uh, you know going barefoot or um, uh, uh, having the wrong type of shoe. They, they it completely knocks your skeletal structure right back out of line and it doesn't really do any good. And then you get mad at the chiropractor who says you need to come in here three times a week. <laughs> uh, because you're just not paying attention. You could probably go once a week. You could go once a right. week. You could might even go. Yeah, they probably w would um, even once or twice a month I mean, if you were able to have it from the foot up. So uh, a couple of things uh, to keep in mind. Uh, now. Uh, at some point, uh, as we were talking about, uh, there are podiatrists, there are doctors. Um, so how does somebody know when they might need to see a doctor? Okay, if there's something that, like I said, I don't diagnose, okay, mm -hmm. if there's something I see that I'm not sure of what is going on or anything. Mm -hmm. We're all trained that you recommend a doctor, sure. okay, and we won't recommend a single doctor either. Gotcha. Okay, well, Know some good there's, ones. <laughs> there's a variety of ones here. We'll recommend two or three. That's up to you. Okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff like that. But yeah, we, quite often we, we see things, that, and they'll come in and look and ask me, "Should I see a doctor first? Well, let me do the analysis." When I do the analysis, and I get done with that. And say, Before I go any further, you really should see a doctor on, on various things. Or everything I see here looks looks fine. We can handle what this is, but. Uh, we do as much recommending to the doctor than, than what we take care of also. Absolutely. And the doctors refer to us all the time, whether he's a podiatrist or a regular GP or a chiropractor. They all do it. Absolutely. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to share a little bit of a personal experience. Um, there are some hereditary things in our family um, that have to do with our, the way our ankles interact with our feet. and. Um, and, and very similar to your family, we had, uh, I have eight brothers and sisters, so there's nine children in the family. <laughs> and um, so I actually um, am one of the few uh, children in the family who decided not to get surgery. So they, they ran into uh, a um, podiatrist who recommended surgery and they actually put implants in and all kinds of fancy this and fancy that. Um, and that, to me, I felt like there was a more holistic approach rather than uh, doing surgery. And, and here's an example, and I, I, I absolutely love my sister, she's absolutely wonderful, but um, over Thanksgiving we went to run the bleachers because um, we wanted to burn off some of those extra calories, <laughs> and we ran the bleachers at the next door high school, and I, I mean, I was running up and down the bleachers as fast as I can go, jumping here, jumping there, um, and, you know, running around the track, and um, and she, I, I was jumping rope as well, she grabbed my jump rope and was just doing some basic jump rope. All she did was land on the jump rope and uh, it put her out of commission for about three weeks because she had had that insert then uh, into her foot. Um, and so it made her very fragile. To me, much better to put an orthotic in there than to go with surgically changing yourself and not quite knowing and, you know, what's going to happen. I, my, I, my other sister was doing Tai Bo and broke her foot as a result because there was no give. Um, whereas the orthotic is going to move uh, with your foot, and uh, so um, I'm I, I'm not here to call my family out, but hey, it's much less expensive than surgery. Um, there are times to go get a second opinion. You want to go to the doctor and make a recommendation, but if you're wondering if there's because um, uh, not all doctors are created equal, get a second opinion both in doctor uh, as well as the more holistic treatments as well. Absolutely, we do it all the time. Okay, very good. Um, so now, speaking of the doctor, some people think that the doctor they need to go see is Dr. Scholes in Walmart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like six bucks is a great way to put some gel in your shoes. Actually, it's fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? <laughs> Holy smokes! Obviously, I didn't go to get Dr. Scholes. <laughs> <laughs> they could go as high as 50. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know you, you, you have some pain in your feet and you think, oh, let's uh, throw in some Dr. Scholl's. Why is that uh, not the best solution for, for somebody to go to? Well, not to knock the brand, but mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's the brand. Mm -hmm. The word doctor is a brand name. Gotcha. Dr. Scholl's. It's got nothing to do with a medical device. And that's what we have in our stores is medical devices that work. Okay. Medical grade that will, will work. Okay. Yeah. Um, Soft does not equal 
pain relief. Also length and of adjustment. time, right? right? I mean, you're you're going to be then tossing your doctor well, shoals uh, over time, and yeah. your orthotics are going to last a well, longer. Soft, soft <coughs> shoes mm -hmm. is very similar to you having a headache and taking an aspirin. The headache goes away for a little bit, but the headache comes back. So what do you need to do? You need to find out what's causing the headache. You have to take care of that. You have to find the cause. No. When you find the cause, then you have the relief. Absolutely. Um, similar to a soft bed, if you want to make that comparison too. Mm -hmm. and that um, Some people think a soft bed is the solution. Why, why, what would be the comparison between those two? Just, just the way your body mechanics work to start with. Soft lets your body mechanics do exactly what you've been doing. In other words, you have got no control over it. We're the firmer, firmer ones. Yeah. Firmer but flexible. Okay, there, there's, a, there's a word in there. So, um, we've got one of the most modern, flexible heart support systems in the world. In fact, I want to talk about that in just a moment. This is actually why I brought both of my sons into Foot Solutions, is because the way that is engineered, I actually have some engineering background. And um, if those of you who are wondering if I'm sounding a little bit strange, I don't know why. It's something, a piece of dust got in my throat or something. <laughs> so my apologies to our listeners. I'm going to take a drink of water. But um, when we come back from break, we are going to be talking about I, the, the engineering of that orthotic, what makes it unique and different. Um, I've actually had probably eight different um, orthotics in my life, and the engineering behind this particular orthotic, the way they create it, uh, the analysis is great. There's very, very high-end engineering that goes into the creation of it, the analysis of it, but when it comes out, why it's so amazing. So don't go away. When we come back, we might just change your life. So this is uh, Kurt Wilhelm, the host of the Social University here on Voice America. We're joined by Art and Linnell uh, Reynolds from Foot Solutions. So we'll be right back to change your life.